Every six months, every artist contemplates whether or not they should quit. And so it's nice to remind ourselves why we are making art in the first place. And for those who don't make art yet, you will. 10 minutes from now. Reason number one, ever drove a car and one of your favorite tunes comes on and you start singing along and suddenly the next four minutes become the best of your life. Well, that's the power of making art. For some reason, a horrible experience like standing in traffic becomes one of the most joyful experiences of your life just because you're singing along to one of your favorite tunes. Making art simply enriches our lives. The second reason is to show yourself. As children, we feel a deep need to show whatever we are doing to our parents, whether it's riding about without hands or making a drawing with hands. And so showing who you are and what you are capable of is part of the human condition. And making art just happens to be the best way to do that. And if we fail to show ourselves, if we fail to get appreciation for who we are, we lose a part of our existence with all the sadness and depressed feelings that come with that. The next reason is to simply make money from what you love. And if you aren't already, to increase the chances of living from your passion, which is probably the highest type of life that you can have. Next up, you should make art in order to become less anxious and reduce your stress level. Numerous studies have shown that after 30 minutes of making art, your stress and anxiety levels reduce significantly. In other words, by making art, you increase your experience of life. And importantly, this happens at any skill level, no matter how well you draw. If you're curious, I've included some studies in the description. The fifth reason you should make art is to increase your focus and memory. In a study, they asked one group of people to doodle while listening to a boring speech and another group of people to pay attention to the boring speech. Turns out that the people who were doodling had a better experience, were able to pay attention for longer periods and remembered what was being said in the speech more afterwards. In other words, if your teacher asks you to pay attention and stop doodling in your books, just point her to the study I linked in the description. Reason number six, art goes deep. It goes all the way to the fabrics of our brain itself. Studies have shown that making art is correlated to a greater spatial improvement in functional connectivity of the PCC to the frontal and parietal cortices. In human language, according to the study that I just quoted but do not understand, it means that making art improves your psychological resilience. You are more capable to handle the things that life throws at you. Now, we artists, we already knew that, but it's nice to have some kind of scientific proof as well. Another reason to make art is to learn how to provoke, perhaps even stand up for yourself, which can be very useful if you're a shy person. A huge part of art is provoking, is asking questions, is pushing people to think about certain topics a certain way. And the beautiful thing about art is that you don't have to do it directly, meaning you avoid all the risk that comes with provoking people directly in their face. The next reason to make art is to give it away and therefore strengthen your relationships. There is something about your time and skill that is precious and people know that. And so if you take the time to make a portrait of someone and give it to them, they really feel like they are being valued and recognized. Oftentimes, those are the best gifts that you can give. And the reason for that is that the thing that people love most, most of the times, is themselves. And so giving them a portrait of themselves is the best compliment you can give. The next reason we should be making art is because we want to remember our lives. If I asked you right now to take 10 minutes to think about what you've done in your life, your travels, your experiences with your friends, the art that you've made, whatever, chances are, you probably don't come up with much and you realize you forgot most of it. And that's a sad thing because the most important thing we have is our life itself. Now, one of the best ways I know to remember and really experience your life is to make art. Every time I wrote a poem or a journal entry or an artwork or whatever about an experience I had, that piece of art can bring me right back to that place in a fraction of a second. At the moment, I'm making a video vlog about my art trip to Budapest, for example, and I can already feel how much deeper my experience is because of the video I'm making, how much easier it will be to to 
remember this part of my life and how much easier it is to learn the lessons I need to learn from this experience. And so artworks become a time machine that can catapult you back to your memories. Number 10, research shows that creating art about problems or traumas helps resolving those issues. And this doesn't have to be as complex as drawing or painting. This can be as simple as making a journal entry about what happened. I remember this TED talk from a woman explaining how soldiers were experiencing post-traumatic stress and had nightmares of faces of people they shot and monsters and things like that. They couldn't sleep. And what she did to treat them was she asked them to draw out those faces and monsters and lo and behold, it helped all of them get rid of the nightmares and getting a night's sleep in. And for some of those soldiers, it had been decades since they slept. I'm going to link that talk as well. Very powerful talk. The 11th reason you should be making art is because it's the highest admired skill in the world. Sure, you might be able to go and during a party, if somebody asks you what you do, they might also pretend that they really like your job and always want to learn how to code. And sure, during that party, you might be making four times more than the guy standing next to you. But if that guy guy is a musician and plays music in a band, it all doesn't matter anymore. That's the power of beauty and the ability to create beauty in the world. Music in this scenario. Marilyn Monroe once said, you might not marry a girl just because she's pretty, but my goodness, doesn't it help? Same goes for the house you buy, the restaurant you go to, the destination you travel to. In short, everything in life that matters is influenced by a sense of beauty. And if you're someone who can create beauty, you are miles ahead of everybody else. If you're inspired, then consider watching my sketchbook video, which talks about 10 reasons you should not just make art, but you should be drawing specifically. That said, get the hell out of here.